Hi guys, it's Blackie. Okay, as promised, I'm going to do a complete dump of my Blackbird Haversack, what I'm carrying today. Now let's talk about that for just a second. What I carry in my Haversack is going to vary due to conditions, due to activities, and due to seasons. That's what this bag is. This bag is meant to be a quick gather, quick carry, basic kit that I add to as the need implies. I'm going to go out and do just some light scouting today. I'm going to go be doing some uh, fishing or I'm, I'm going to be teaching a little skills class to somebody. I will add and subtract from the bag depending on what I need. There's no sense toting a lot of extra weight that I don't need. On the other hand, there's no sense going without the gear I do need. So it's always got to be a mind game of stacking the deck is whatever I need for the moment. I'm going to set the table up right quick so I can just lay it out flat and we're going to go through it piece by piece and talk about my thoughts of why I carry this gear and hopefully it'll give you some ideas for your gear. Okay, to start off I'm going to take my little scale which is set to zero and at present fully loaded my bag comes to with everything you see here about four and a half pounds that's half a gallon of milk. Okay, let's start with the outside of the bag. I have my strap, which is hollow, like we've talked about before. And I don't have anything in here because I don't need to carry it. But what I carry in here, inside of this, it makes a very good place for me to carry a buck saw blade, like we've talked about, where I can create a buck saw in the field. I can carry a file. This is commonly needed for me to touch up my kukri or my touch up my axe, whatever I'm carrying if I'm doing serious work. I could also carry a sharpening steel for the knife, etc. My chamber adapters that I carry to put into my H&R single shot to make my 20 gauge into a 9mm or a 38 or some other caliber would easily ride inside the tube and therefore be quick and accessible yet not take up any extra bulk. Okay, the top of the flap. This is usually my shelter system that I'm carrying in it. Now this bag is not set up to camp overnight. These are comfort items that allow me to set up rain gear, small shelter, etc. And I do have the option, in case I have to, of setting this up as a overnight shelter should I have to. So in the zippered compartment, I have my one win poncho shelter, which I have recently showed in a video. And I will be setting this up in a future video because somebody asked me to show it set up as a diamond, as a full shelter set. We will be doing that. I have my Ranger Pace beads. I have my pre-set up ridge line with my Prusik knot toggles that I make up on it and I've talked about this many times in my videos to make a quick shelter. I have a Silva compass which is my standard compass. I believe this one is called the uh, be nice with black you put on his glasses where he could read. Okay this is a Silva guide model 426. This is my standard compass that I use down here. It has the mirror in it for signaling and also for sighting and it has a clear base plate in it where with granulations where I can use for using on a map and a cord to wear around my neck. I have my notebook which I use to jot down information, things I'm going to be needing to work on, ideas for videos, etc. in a all-weather writing instrument. I have a set of one, two, three, four of these cheap titanium stakes. Very light, very easy, and more than enough for me to shed up, set up my shelter or to set up a tarp over a hammock. And I have an emergency space blanket. This has a lot of uses. It can be used as an emergency reflector. It can be used as a gathering tool. It can be used as a barrier over a wound. It can be used for many, many uses, and it weighs nearly nothing, and it's a quick grab, and it's also disposable. That's everything in the top flap. They all ride there quick and easily, ready to grab. Now this is my poncho for rain gear and as a shelter. 
right there. I didn't mention that before. Okay. Now I can take the glasses off. Main body. As a quick grab, hooked on its own cord going through the double D rings, I have an Exotech fire rod that also has a compartment in the back of it. Gen screw it. And you have one of them little cigarette butt type pieces of tinder that fits in there. This is my one I'm keeping with this bag as a quick grab. And I'm guaranteed I got a piece of tinder there I can start a fire quickly. I carry a bandana. I like to use orange as my bandana for signaling, also for cleanup, whatever. It can be used for many, many functions, but it's just a quick grab bandana. my fire kit. Now this is the Stitch Gear Outfitter small fire kit and what it is is just a bag that cinches up like this this is waterproof leather that I pulled it up so it's not truly waterproof but it's very water resistant we shall say at this degree. All right. In here I'm carrying two mini lighters. I'm carrying a Ted Cash tinder box that has cedar bark shavings, sisal rope, a couple of little small birthday candles, and several pieces of fat lighter, as well as my tinder straws I make up that's Vaseline soaked um, cotton packed into that too to make sure it stays waterproof and ready to go. Also in the bag, we have a wet fire tab, and then there's just some shavings and bark stuffed in there as well. A fist worth of it, enough that I've got enough to get the fire basically started. So that's a redundancy from this ferro rod. It's got a tender in it. So I've got another tender kit and another way to make fire. And it all fits nicely, just like this and keeps it nice and secure in the bag. I can also tell by feel that, that is my tinder bag. So if I got to get it in the night, in the darkness, I know what I'm grabbing. As my extra blade, belt type blade, I'm carrying the Lutz Skinner right now. I got this from Dan Lutz and I've been using it as something to clean small game, fish, and etc in the field and just have a you know a separate backup knife and I'm just experimenting with the design I like the design I really really do and I like the way it fits in the hand and it can choke up and do all kinds of details it's a top-notch piece of gear and like you've already seen me do, do it's great for food prep for sitting and processing food and vegetables for the pot that's the reason I'm carrying it right now and there's a lanyard on it so it allows me to hook to this and it'll hang vertically up on this side so that instead of it getting in there sideways and there's always a possibility something's going to work out and you reach in and grab a blade I want to carry it vertically so I can get a hold of it. I have my first aid kit. Now on my first aid kit is a one or two um, big wide like four inch uh, pads folded up flat, slid in there a couple of band-aids and one or two things of uh, triple antibiotic ointment slid in there and then there's also a straight pen and something else for stickers and stuff. If this can't handle it then we're up to band, uh, bandages and duct tape to get me to an ER but this should handle all the minor little stuff that bothers you. So that's my first aid kit. I'm carrying the one wind ultralight hammock in here and I've showed this in many videos where it's got the straps and this. I was carrying the um, mesh hammock and that's still a great option but right now I'm experimenting with this. I was giving the company some feedback on it so I'm doing about like a one year of using it a lot and seeing how it holds up but thus far it's held up very very well and it's a standalone hammock by itself. There's no mosquito net in this but other than that it does just fine and that with the Poncho makes a emergency overnight shelter. 
Okay. That's it for the body except my utility bag. Now, a utility bag, as you saw, I just pulled it out, is a great way to organize all the little stuff. And that's the stuff that I'm going to be using, but it itself is kind of bulky or whatever, or it just going to be where I'd be just digging constantly to the bottom trying to find it if it wasn't for that. So what I'm going to do is, in a second, let me hook this over, just like that. Yep. Slide that in just like that so it stays vertical. Now, my utility bag. The utility bag will carry all those small bits and things that I need in my haversack to affect whatever type of project I'm doing. On this side, I have a bunch of cordage, different kinds of cordage. Now, these are already donated up. This is bank line. This is bright 550, bright cord, not 550, excuse me. Then I have two 550 paracords. Then I have another hank of that kind of uh, bank line. I have some pre-hanked up, what I call bush crab zip ties, which are just those odd pieces that when you pull them, they telescope out and a daisy chain up for con convenient carry. A big handful of safety pins, 10,001 uses. Once you start thinking about it and start looking, trust me, you will find 10,001 uses for these things. I got one open right there, I can tell. And so it puts your gear in place. I can use it to hang up laundry. I can use it to repair my gear. I can make, improvise other things like eyes for fishing rods and things out of it. 1,001 uses, it weighs nothing. And that's basically all on that side. is nothing but cordage. And this pouch is divided in half. So this side is my cordage and my pins. So I know where I can grab it, and I know what I got in there. On this half is all the other small bits. There's a backup lighter, with a little bit of duct tape, and a lanyard stuck to it so I can hang it or clip it on the gear. There's a match safe that's got Yuko matches and regular matches in it. There's one of the Viking sharpening stones that I got from Exotech or Wazoo, I should say, sorry. I have the Exotech repair station that's got my supply duct tape, a supply of sewing slash fishing line, and then inside the center of it, we've got the sewing needle so I can make repairs to my gear. In this small pouch, I carry an open L. I believe this is a number six, I think it is, or an eight, excuse me, an eight. Just to have a small, precision, thin blade for precision work. I'm, of course, going to be carrying my big belt knife, but this is for the small details. My backup compass, just a simple pocket compass, is a backup. It's going to stay in the bag. My primary Lansky type sharpening steel, which is a diamond home, pointed on one end to get small details. A flat section and a round section. You put it in, turn it, it cinches up, and now I can use it to sharpen my blades. I can sharpen anything I carry with this. I have a light that I've been carrying for a while that is a flashlight, and when you pull it out, it's a small lantern. Perfect for hanging on the ridge line of a hammock just to illuminate an area. It burns for hours and hours on a couple of double A's and I carry a backup set of double A's as well as a brand new set of double A's in here and I change these out every couple months or if I use them on one good time on the weekend I'll automatically go to my new ones and put replace my used ones and that's it that's the complete dump everything Blackie's carrying in the haversack right now. now I know it don't look like much and you're gonna say well, where's this where's that those would be added as needed for the given situation there is the habitat. So, like you're not carrying a cooking utensil, that's the canteen water cook set. That's my water and etc. Big blade knife, that's my blackbird and my sti uh, stitch gear six-way sheath I'm carrying. Uh, you're not carrying, I've got it somewhere on me. 
I don't have to put all my eggs in one basket. This is the job of the Blackbird Haversack. It's the as needed stuff plus a core of things that I'm going to use basically every time. Now what if I don't use something every time? What if there's some piece of gear in here that, you know, I haven't used that in a long time or I've grown in my skills or I'm practicing something else? Well, then I'll change it out and I'll put something else because I may be putting something in I'm wanting to experiment with. Suppose I wanted to work on a fire piston. I could add one of those in there. But I would keep the lighters and I might replace the ferro rod with the fire piston or a burning lens or whatever skill I'm trying to work at. If I'm cooking, that goes into the bigger bag, and that's where I'm carrying the stuff for cooking. On my belt would be my grail, which is my water purification and etc. It has the cooking pot, it has a filter, and then it has a separate drinking eating pot and a lid. With that, it's a complete cook system, so I don't have to carry it in here. If I'm carrying food, for the day trip. I just want to heat up some whatever. I can throw that in there. There's plenty of room left. See, that's a consumable. But this is the hard core of what's going to be. And as I said, these change out parts like my, what am I carrying today? Do I want to carry the 357 and the 9mm, the whatever that's going to be going in there? Am I going to be carrying an axe because we're going to be doing shelter building? I need my file. All of that can go along quickly and easily. But Blackie, you're going for multiple days. Well, then I step up to the knapsack. We've already talked about that, and we've already discussed my knapsack I have and how it is set up with a bigger fire kit and a bigger set and bigger set and bigger set. This is, I'm not planning, this is a skills bag. I am not planning on spending the night, but I have the capability. I have my poncho for a shelter roof, and I have my hammock to get me up off the ground. I have the ability to make fire. I will be carrying water, cutting tool on me and probably a firearm. I'll be fine. So that is the basic idea of my Blackbird Haversack. Hope this gives you some ideas, guys. Please leave any questions or comments, and hopefully this helps you find you know, a little more focus on what your gear needs to be. Find those pieces of gear that you're going to use every time, carry them. The ones that I may or may not, those go into the alternate pile that I trade them in and out as I need. Till next time guys, thank you for watching and thank you for supporting my channel. This is Blackie wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day guys.